Hello, my name is Pat Smith. I'm the National Renewable Sales Manager at the Heat Merchants Group. Today, I would like to go through a short clip on the H-Series controller from a user point of view. So we're going to start by looking at the keypad itself. So on our controller, it is a, an LCD display, touchscreen, buttons. All of our controllers have the facility to be locked, but the, the keypad can be locked um, on it. So in locking the keypad, the bottom left-hand button, down and across. Do you want to lock the remote controller? Yes, confirm. So the keypad is locked. That controller is locked. Nobody can gain access to that controller now unless you know the code on it. In most one-off houses um, that we do, our code will be 0001. If it is a housing state that you're presently in, the code, if commissioned and set up by ourselves, will generally be the house number. So, for example, if you lived in house number 19, the code would be 0019. In this instance here, the code is 0001. So to get into the controller, you press any button once. It asks you for the unlock password. I know it's 0, 0, 0, 1. And confirm. So now the keypad is active, OK? The keypad being active, the first thing I'm going to do with yourselves is we're going to turn it on, OK? So press the power button in the bottom right-hand corner once. Screen lights up. On the left-hand side of the controller, you have a sun symbol, and below that you have a tap symbol. The sun symbolizes that there's heating enabled, and the tap symbol symbolizes that there's hot water enabled. In the center of the screen, 25 degrees is the temperature read on the flow pipe of the heat pump. The top right of the screen shows a tap, and below that it shows 40 degrees. That is the current temperature of the hot water in the hot water tank. Below the 40, you have a house symbol and a thermometer. That is the present temperature outside of the house. So just to recap, sun is heating, tap is hot water. Center is the temperature in the system itself. The top right is the temperature in your hot water storage tank. And then below that is the outdoor temperature. Above that, then, you have a line going across the screen. Starting on the top left-hand side of the line, you have a little resistor symbol, which shows you that the backup heater for heating is enabled. To the right of that, you have another resistor symbol with a tap. That's showing you that the, the heater is enabled for the hot water. To the right of that, then, you have the, date and, uh, the day and the time, time and day. <clears throat> the time and the day. 12.54 Monday. The easiest thing to show you first off is the actual function of the buttons on the controller. If you press the left hand arrow, you can select heating and hot water, heating only, hot water only, or heat and hot water again. You must have a tap on the screen to enable you to go over to the hot water set temperature with the right hand button. Once you go over to the hot water set temperature, the hot water set temperature is 48 degrees. That is generally what all houses would be set to. If you find that too hot for yourselves, you can turn that down by pressing the down arrow, or you can turn it back up again by pressing the up arrow. I generally wouldn't put it above 48. You can go up to 49, 50, 51, 52, but you're just using more energy um, to give you the same result. So 48 degrees is basically what all the houses are set to and confirm. Once you confirm it, the screen goes back to normal. Now, let's say we wanted to lock the keypad at this stage. You've set your heating and hot water. You've set your hot water temperature. Your system has been commissioned. So all of the commissioning settings are all set up and properly. You don't necessarily need to go any further you can just now go and lock your keypad. So to lock your keypad, you press the bottom left once. You go down and go across to the right-hand side to the keypad lock. 
you press confirm with the middle button once. Do you want to lock the remote controller? You say yes, and then you press confirm. Your keypad is locked, and nobody can gain access to that keypad now unless they know your code is 0001. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you around.